Good evening. Good evening and welcome to all my brothers and sisters from all around the world. I just want to thank you for being here studying the word of God. I thank you for taking out time to dedicate some time to the Lord. To edify yourself spiritually, mentally, and to edify your soul. I appreciate you. Father God, in the name of Jesus, continue to bless my brothers and sisters. Continue to ed edify them. Continue to give them spiritual eyes, spiritual ears, spiritual understanding. Shower them with knowledge, with wisdom, with understanding in your word. Increase the spirit of discernment. That way they can recognize the evil one from Heavenly Father, from our Lord and Savior. Father, we worship you and we thank you this day for your word. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, amen. And my name is Dr. PJ from the Prophetic Word. And this evening, we're going to be studying about the history of how. of Halloween and how this satanic ritual um, has been adopted in the church and today is spreading all over the United States and all over the world. This ancient ritual is no secret. This ancient ritual is from the Babylonians and I want to open up with the book of Exodus chapter 20 and God spake all these words saying I am the Lord thy God which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt out of the house of bondage thou shall have no other gods before me Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that's in the heaven above, that is on the earth beneath, or that's in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children, unto the third and the fourth generation of those who hate me and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments amen amen and let me explain to you what is the ritual of ha halloween when anyone engage in a ritual in any type of ritualistic demonic worship you must turn your back against god it is not biblical. Halloween is not a biblical celebration. Halloween is not a commandment from God. Halloween is not a Judeo tradition. It is a crystal pagan tradition. It was added on to the through the pagan and the paganistic religious worship so this is one of the gods that they included in christianity the custom came through the caucasus mountain and ended up in europe but it's nothing there's nothing new under the sun because this wickedness is what God told us about in his word when he gave us commandments not to follow the ways of the heathen. And I'm reading from the book of Kings chapter 16 and I'm going to start around verse 29. And in the thirty and eight year of Asa, king of Judah, began Ahab, the son of Omri, to reign over Israel. 
And Ahab, the son of Omri, reigned over Israel in Samaria 20 and 2 years. And Ahab, the son of Omri, did evil in the sight of the Lord above all that were before him. And it came to pass as if it had been a light thing for him to walk in the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, that he took to wife Jezebel, the daughter of Etbal, the king of the Zidonians, and went and served Baal and worshipped him. And he reared up an altar for Baal in the house of Baal, which he had built in Samaria. And Ahab made a grove, and Ahab did more to provoke the Lord God of Israel to anger that all the kings of Israel that were before him. And in those days did Hale the Betelite build Jericho. He laid the foundation thereon of Abiram his firstborn and set up the gates thereof in his younger son Segub according to the word of the Lord which he spake by Joshua the son of Nun. And we're going to pause there. This worship of Baal is not the God of Israel and Judah. It is not the God of Hebrew, of the Hebrew children. But Ahab disobeyed God more than any other king that was before him. Number one, he broke the law and he married a woman who was not from the 12 tribes. He brought in the daughter of the satanic priest called Ekbal, king of the Sidonians. And if you, if you studied with me before on my other page and where I collaborate with another pastor, you would understand that the Sidonians, they introduce all of this stuff about Aryan. And superiority. They introduce a lot of wickedness. That we have to deal with today. But. He went and served Baal. And worshipped him. He did not worship the God of his forefathers. He turned his back. And introduced this wicked tradition. And rituals. To the children of Israel. Amen. And as we read and study. We must understand that God gave us strict rules and strict commandments. In Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 2 he said, Thus said the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. And you see the signs... It's also the fourth season. They claim they're doing it because, well, it's the fall season and they got to celebrate the harvest. But it really is an ancient celebration. It's a celebration of Baal worship. And I'm going to read a little bit from history. Long before it came over here from Europe... It came through the Caucasus mountain and then settled in Europe for 2,000 years now. It's been around. And you got to really realize like the bonfires are rituals. The trick or treat, though all of those are rit rituals. The eating of cakes has been transferred to October 31st and through November the 5th. Long before the discovery of gunfire, bonfire were used. The gunpowder that was invented by, by the Asiatic country, 
China invented the gunpowder way before that. In Ireland, in Scotland, there was burning and had a bonfire on the hilltops. They was doing their celebration. They was baking cakes to bail. They were celebrating the spring, the autumn. They was doing all kind of stuff. That in Europe, they were celebrating St. John's Eve in Germany. They was doing all kind of rituals that was tied in to Baal worship. They was baking oat cakes, soul cakes. And they transfer it into the church. All of these things and evil became a custom in the church. Amen. So we got to keep in mind. Like after doing all of these research in the Bible. Halloween is tied in to the Jezebelites. To the queen of heaven, Ashtarat, Ashida, and to also to Baal worshipping. Because Jezebel's father was the chief high priest of Baal. Then it was transferred over because they moved from one area to another area and it became a ritual. And it was worshipped by the Celts. The Celts worshipped Baal also. They worship the lightning of fire. But that tradition came from Baal. And they called it the great horn god of the Celts. And the Akkadian called it Baal. B-E-L. And the Scottish, for the Scottish, it is the Lord of the Feast. And also in the spring, they call it the Samian spring. But it all celebrated in May Day. And then Baal is a false god. is a way of idolatry. They allow their children to pass through the fire. They allow their children to be burnt in the fire. In the book of Leviticus 18.21. He said you, you, you are profane the name of your God. I am the Lord. And there shall not be found among you anyone that makes his or his son or his daughter pass through the fire. Also in the book of Deuteronomy 18.10. You must not, no Christian, no believer should provoke the Lord to anger. That's what Ahab and Jezebel did. They taught the, the children to commit adultery and to worship idols. And then they sacrificed their children in the bonfire. And if you don't believe when they gather to themselves together at midnight on the 30th, when, it come, when the clock go to midnight to the 31st, they gather themselves together. The witches and warlocks gather themselves together. From Europe to America, they gather themselves together. They do human sacrifice. People, children come up missing. When I was coming up, they will put rat paste in the apple and razor blade. They will lace the candy with rat paste, and a lot of black children died. They wind up dead. By the time they take them to the hospital, they don't know who did it or where they got the, the candy. It is a form of idol worship. Amen. 
The word of God said, come out from among them and be separate. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, 17. Your soul belongs to Almighty God. Your soul does not belong to your pastor, to your preacher, to your denomination, or to your religion. It is Christ that died on the cross and resurrected on the third day. It is Christ that shed his blood on Calvary. You see, we've been bought with the blood of a high priest. So no man should, don't let no man deceive you. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, 70. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. You must come out of the satanic tradition, come out of the ritualistic demonic worship of Halloween. Come out. You and your children need to come out of this wicked tradition. It is wickedness. And let us move to the book of Isaiah. We're going to read a couple verses in the, song, in the book of Isaiah 47, verse 1. I'm reading from the King James. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Daughter of Babylon, sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. Two, Babylon and Chaldeans. For those shall no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstones and grind meal. Uncover thy locks. Bear, make bear the leg and uncover the tie and pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yeah, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. As for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name. The Holy One of Israel. Sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. I was wrought with my people. I have polluted my inheritance. And giving them into thine hand. Though this show them no mercy upon them. The ancient has though verily heavily laid thy yoke. And thou say this. I shall be a lady forever. So that thou didst not lay these things to thine heart. Neither didst remember the latter end of it. And we're going to pause there. And what God is saying is, is, is bring calling judgment upon the daughter of Babylon and daughter of the Chaldeans. He's calling judgment upon those who practice the ritualistic demonic worship. Whether it be Halloween, whether it be human sacrifice, whether it be evil gathering. Why will you follow something for those who worshiping in darkness and you claiming that you are in the light? Think about it. If you claiming that you are in the light. Why are you worshiping the dead? Let's turn to Ecclesiastes chapter 9 5. For the living know that they shall die. But the dead know not anything. Neither have they have any more a reward. For the memory of them is forgotten. Their memory is forgotten. But your pastors and your leaders is telling you, come on, let's worship the dead. 